This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I'm talking about the petition to remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2, and I like to check up on it once in a while. So, I've been thinking a little bit about James Wan, the director of Aquaman 2, and how he must feel about Amber Heard being in the movie. And as you guys know, Stephen King is producing The Stand, which has Amber Heard starring in it. My conclusion about Stephen King is that he should release a statement if he's locked into contract and he can't get rid of her. He's got to say something like, well, I know new evidence came about and Amber Heard possibly abused Johnny Depp, something to that extent, and then say, however, we were locked into contract before this evidence came out. Something like that. Anything. You have to explain yourself. Same thing with James Wan. You know, you don't get to just slip by and have her in the movie and keep your mouth shut and act like nothing's happening. Because Amber Heard did something illegal. She's probably not going to get jail time whatsoever. Probably not even a hard punishment. So the least you could do as a good Samaritan is have a statement explaining as to why you've got this person in your movie. Here you see it on IMDb. She is still Mera as of this day. And they even have her name in front of some other stars. So she's even prioritized higher than some other people in the movie. So here you see 476,423 people have signed this petition. Obviously, we're going for half a million. It's moving a little slow, but it's been taking some small jumps. Here you can see my before and after picture of Amber Heard, I keep getting these comments, well, she's an abuser, but she's hot though, or Amber Heard's hot, all's forgiven, stuff like that. And I'm kind of getting tired of these comments because she's not ugly, can't say that, even in her original form, but um, she's closer to average than a lot of people think. A lot of guys come around here and think she's like this blonde bombshell, She's like world-class top model and illusionary, maybe, but not naturally. Also, I got to say, and I keep pounding this in, you know, pretty much like every 25,000 signatures or something, is that signing this thing is important, not because we want to get the result. We know James Wan isn't going to look at the thing and be like, hmm, look at this. I should get her out because people signed this. That's not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is we're raising awareness. So people passing by, who are getting into the case now, who are finding out more about it, about details, look at it and be like, wow, look how many people signed this thing already. That's uh, pretty interesting that so many people feel Amber Heard should be out of this movie. Maybe I'll consider that point of view too. So it's really awareness and it's really influence as to this petition. It's never going to get into the hands of somebody to change a mind to get out of the movie. But it will get into the hands of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, who are making a decision on how they feel about Amber Heard. And as far as we know, we want that decision to be that she's out of the movie. I also did a video here about Zombieland. It's an older movie she's in from 2009. And, you know, me personally, I'm not seeing anything Amber Heard is in at all. Zero tolerance. With older movies, like I said, if you guys want to see older things, 10 years old, 7 years old, something like that, that's cool. I'm never going to, like, fight anyone on it, get mad. I'm not going to, like, push my beliefs down your throat. But for me personally, I'm zero tolerance. You know, obviously this is the big one moving forward that we do not want to see her in. And let's say she is in it. Let's say the court case comes out in Amber's favor or, like, nothing happens at all. Let's say there's no punishment and she moves on with her career and you're like, what the hell? You know, we went through all that and now Amber Heard is just like moving on normally. Well, then that's your responsibility to not support the things she's involved in. And I would think that would include older things. It's about message. People said to me, well, she's only in it one minute. She dies. It doesn't matter. I, I can't say I'm supporting it. She's in it. So I have to say I'm not supporting it. That's too bad. Unfortunately, you know, it's a good movie, but it's a no-go. And as far as Aquaman 2, got to hit that 
as hard as possible. So I don't even say anything about Aquaman 1. It was kind of boring. I started it way before I knew who she was. I didn't even get up to her part. You know, it just wasn't that great anyway. Well, I can't quite say that and see the full thing. I'm sure there's some cool scenes, but the point is it wasn't good enough for me to keep watching it to get my attention in my busy life. Like, say, Joker was incredible. I watched it twice. Even Endgame, Infinity War, you know, something like that. It's like, all right, held my attention enough. All right, I'm rambling. So you guys, let me know down below. What do you think? Do you think Amber Heard should be an Aquaman 2? I know you don't. I'm just kidding. That's like what some normal YouTuber would say, making a video on it for the first time. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think Amber Heard should be an Aquaman 2? If you're on the side of Johnny, no, she shouldn't. Anyway, consider subscribing here. You'll get rants, rambles, photoshops, makeshift videos, different backgrounds, because I'm never in the same place. I'm pretty much a YouTube gypsy. If you don't subscribe, well, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time. <laughs>